Hey guys, welcome back to Critical Flick. Today I'll be reviewing The Tragedy of Macbeth. So The Tragedy of Macbeth was distributed by A24 and it'll actually be on Apple TV Plus I think today or soon. I think this week. I watched it a while ago. But I have to say, it's just so well put together. The movie is written and directed by Joel Cohen. It's, it actually is the first time one of the Cohen brothers has went out and made a movie on their own. And I have to say, it's excellent for him being his first time by himself. We obviously know that they're excellent directors, but it's interesting to see him finally kind of part ways and do his own thing. The movie is another retelling of the classic tale of Macbeth by William Shakespeare. And that being said, it is it is Macbeth. You're having it in the old English. It's being told in a way that maybe isn't the most accessible movie in the world. And at first it did bother me a little bit because I'm like, what am I what am I watching? Because you know, when I read Macbeth in high school, I had to have, you know, the notes on the opposite page to understand even what they're talking about. But when you kind of strip that back and just embrace the performances, Denzel Washington is excellent as Macbeth. Being able to deliver these old English monologues and do it so well and so passionate and just see the paranoia and the corruption that goes on in Macbeth's mind, he did a fantastic job. And honestly, didn't know what to expect. You know, I had never seen him in a role like this. But I think he did a great job. One of the things that really stands out for me in this movie is the production design and the cinematography. It is done entirely in black and white. It really does take advantage of that, though, because you're able to have some large set pieces that almost feel like old classic films, the big stark buildings, the linear edges, everything really sharp and crisp, and then having it set to this huge melodramatic play. I don't know. It just, I think it works really, really well for what they're trying to do. I saw the Michael Fassbender Macbeth a few years ago. I really did enjoy it. That one was a good one, but it goes more of like a gritty, more realism take. This feels more like a large play, a large production. You're seeing the best you can get out of these actors. Kind of the true form of what William Shakespeare may have seen in a play. Francis McDormand is also great as Lady Macbeth. I think everyone in the film really embraces these really meaty roles. There's a lot to be said. There's a lot of acting. There's a lot of just everything so over the top in Macbeth and having it just be portrayed by some of the greatest actors working today was an excellent decision by this director. But like I said, with all that being said, while it is on a, its technical aspects, a really well made done film, a really well acted film, well shot, well directed, it is Macbeth. So if you go into it, you may be kind of turned off by the inaccessibility of it being written in Old English, told in Old English. You may not actually understand everything that's going on in the movie. I know maybe I'm dumb or something, but like some, some of the things I just I was like, wow, this is really well acted. This guy's putting his heart and soul into this. This looks really well done. I don't really know what he's saying right here. I'm getting the gist of it because I know from his expressions. And that's a testament to the acting. You may not understand exactly what the words that are coming out of their mouth, but the mannerisms, the expressions, the overall emotion that's being thrown out there by these characters, you get what's happening. Maybe if you don't know the actual old English text. So if I were to rate the tragedy of Macbeth, I would give it an eight and a half out of 10. Really enjoyed it. I could see it going up for a bunch of awards this season. I've seen it getting some kind of buzz as it moves along. Denzel Washington, definitely phenomenal. A lot of supporting characters excellent in it. Well, I know I can't touch on everyone, but everyone is good. There's not a single person in this movie that feels out of place, that doesn't feel like they should be in this huge play that's being put on. So if you checked out The Tragedy of Macbeth, let me know what you think about it. I'm interested to see if someone who just pops it on, if it's on Apple TV+, Plus, you're you know, just seeing what's on there, you pop it on. Do you enjoy it? Do you like the technical aspects of it? Do you enjoy the really incredible acting that you see? Or are you turned off by kind of not necessarily understanding what's happening on the screen? So again, thanks for watching. Remember to like and subscribe and see you guys next time.